Smitty for dabbing pleasure. B Smitty Lurkers. I actually can't even believe I'm making this video. It's like, it's deja vu. <laughs> um, it's pretty much exactly a year ago, around this time. Um, I actually had lost my partner program to YouTube because of a, a conflicting email account when I started a new Gmail account. Um, it didn't really make much sense, but uh, there's a videos, or a, especially a video that I made talking about it. Um, it basically made my partner program um, inactive for about six months, but an uh, employee named Katie at YouTube um, resolved the situation for me and got it all figured out to where I can actually uh, become a partner again. Uh, I was a partner for basically since the beginning of the partner program. So it was a whole process. It was 90 emails. Um, uh, basically, it was a whole identity thing that they were making sure I was the same person. And it was, it was a big schmoz, uh, nonetheless. Um, basically, what would, was happening, though, by not being a uh, part of the partner program, I uh, immediately couldn't uh, use custom thumbnails and uh, also could not post certain length of videos, uh, couldn't live stream. It was basically a, a useless account, which is why I stopped posting videos uh, at that time and was posting to Facebook. Um, but once Katie got it all figured out for me, uh, I'm glad she kind of pulled through because I talked to various people and a lot of them didn't even know what the problem even was. Or, I, I literally had someone uh, from uh, the Google team um, say they couldn't figure it out and it would be best to start a new YouTube channel. But then I actually, which I actually did, but then found out that if you start another YouTube channel and you are not um, approved for the partner program, that you would automatically uh, not be approved if you just start another account. So I was told things in the wrong sense as well, uh, probably just kind of make me go away <laughs> in a weird way. Uh, maybe that's not true, but that's kind of the way it felt. Um, but like I said, it was taken care of. So um, the past six months um, have been great. Um, I've gained subscribers and uh, my my minutes viewed are have more than doubled in just six months for the whole year from last year. So um, six months has been a huge improvement and I've been really excited about YouTube. And it was based on my plan to start uh, I've been uploading consistently since 2005, but um, the beginning of this year, I really, of last year, of 2017, I really wanted to focus on trying to post as much as possible, um, if not daily. Um, I at least wanted to be in daily spurts um, and maybe some uh, micro uh, breaks, you know, depending on life situations. Um, so anyways, I've been uh, working hard on doing that the past six months. Um, there's been times where I post daily for quite a while and then there was somewhere it's just I was posting a couple of a week um, and lately I've been posting daily and um, it's been going really well and then uh, last night I opened uh, an email I got from YouTube and they created new guidelines um, probably thanks to Logan Paul um, and his uh, recent video um, you can learn to search Logan Paul and basically uh, uh, the reason that this is going on is because of a, a video he made um, and basically it's affected the small channels and not really anything else <laughs> um, obviously he was uh, you know punished in the sense that he was taking off YouTube red and uh, revenue and stuff like that um, but so obviously it's a good thing that, you know, um, something happened uh, for, you know, uh, basically not thinking before making a video. But um, so anyways, the email that I opened up was that they made new guidelines to kind of help. I think basically what they're getting at is to kind of um, is to protect the advertisers. Obviously, they don't want to advertise on uh, videos what, uh, similar to Logan Paul's video. So. They're hoping that people don't start a YouTube video or YouTube channel to post a random uh, video depicting um, uh, various acts of, you know, th things against the guidelines, um, you know, of what a video shouldn't, shouldn't be. Um, so anyways, they restricted accounts. If you're a partner with less than 1,000 subscribers or less than 4,000 hours of views in a year, you are no longer a partner, even if you were a partner before. Um, there was different, um, you know, guidelines beforehand. I believe it was 100 subscribers, and I'm not entirely sure of the minutes viewed. Um, 
I think it was actually only 10,000 minutes or something like that. I'm not exactly too sure. But regardless, um, the, the, big, the big problem, I think, is, you know, it's basically um, crippling people to, from growing from the start. Um, the funny thing about this is majority of uh, creators that kind of get, uh, you know, viral videos, it's, it's um, either it's using someone else's copyrighted content to get that boost. You know, it's using mainstream, uh, you know, content for their own use to get that boost, um, whether it's music or other videos and using that, them as their own. Um, and that's kind of the argument that, you know, a lot of us could just do that, you know, whether, because it doesn't, at this, at this point from what YouTube did, it doesn't matter for monetizing. So I can use whatever stuff and not worry about getting a copyright strike because I'm not, I can no longer monetize anyways. But what it'll do is, is it'll gain traction because of mainstream media. So it doesn't quite make sense. Um, I get, I get that might help them for the advertisers, but I think it's not going to be good for people making uh, content that, you know, whether they've built an audience. And so now I could just take that content, throw it into a video and try to, you know, try to boost and try to get to those 4,000 hours and thousand subscribers. Cause after that point, it wouldn't matter. Um, so there's a lot of arguments in that sense. And that to me, I think that's what you're going to see. I think you're going to see a lot more of, um, stolen work to kind of get to that, that threshold. Um, and it's unfortunate for people who make original content or even use content in the proper way for, you know, news type work or that type of thing. Um, but you're going to see a lot of just straight up stolen work. Um, stolen music because like I said it's not gonna it's not gonna matter if you get a copyright strike until you're past that threshold anyways so it's kind of disappointing to me I, I you know it's uh, a lot of work is put into making a video to put on YouTube and I think that's you see that with like even like GoPro and how they're doing and how you know they're I mean they're essentially been going downhill and you know their main thing has been trying to get it to be more of a a mainstream thing where everyone wants a GoPro, but the problem is it's not easy to just, uh, you know, they, they say, you know, just, it's going to edit for you. Just, it doesn't work that way. You have to spend a lot of time editing a lot of time. There's time just sitting, uploading, you know, it takes time for everything. So, you know, it's unfortunate that, um, it's, it's literally countless hours I've spent the past six months working on my YouTube channel. Um, so, and that's not gone. I, and this is where the next part, I think that, this is, I'm not 100% upset with the decision from YouTube is that at the at least that is it's not happening what happened to me a year ago. They're allowing, from what I've heard, um, if you're already a partner, you're grandfathered in with using the custom thumbnails and live streams and there's no kind of limitation to minutes. Um, so I wasn't 100% upset um, because of that reason that's the, those are what i'm using i'm not merely making money off youtube anyways it's very little money <laughs> um uh it's easy to find out like what videos make i mean to be to be completely honest uh the bipolar uh skate video i posted um i think i made seven cents so <laughs> um yeah i mean there's not much there um I think my most viewed video monthly is probably a GoPro video from 2016, and that averages about $4 a month. So it kind of shows, um, you know, there's money there. And, that, and, it, and it's more unfortunate, though, I mean, because, you know, to run a website, you know, it costs about 10 you know, 15 bucks a month. And those, I mean, that's the type of thing that, like, you know, money like that does, you know, and it's not, obviously, for smaller channels like myself, we're not doing it for the money because, it's not like a job. It's not a job. <laughs> I mean, what it, what what it was doing was paying for website fees or someone else that's bigger than me that, but not through that threshold. That's paying a lot more than just a website fee. You know, that's paying, you know, for um, website fee, Shopify fee, um, or I mean, fifty dollars a month to someone is a lot of money. You know, that could be um, upgrading little things here and there for videos. You know, things aren't cheap. You know, XLR mic uh, cord goes down. I mean, with that YouTube revenue, that that can be uh, replaced. So those, I mean, it's 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 little money, but it's money regardless. Um, so it's unfortunate. Um, I think it affects uh, other people a bit more than me because it, you can be just under that. You can have 850 subscribers, but you're just under those minutes viewed, and you know you're getting money, but now it's gone. You know, and I think I think it's just 
I think it's uploading more to those type of people who are really close. I think it's just kind of simple hacks will get you past it. Um, and making a few videos that you maybe normally wouldn't make just to get you past that threshold. Um, and it's unfortunate that we're kind of put in that position. Um, and for me, I, I'm quite a ways away. Um, you know, I, I think at the re time of this recording, I think I'm at 158 subscribers. Uh, my minutes viewed are, I don't, I'm not too sure. It's like maybe like a um, little over a thousand hours uh, have been uh, viewed and obviously I need 4,000 hours. Um, so that's only for, I mean, I really only uploaded for six months. So maybe a year from now, I, I'll be in that threshold again. Um, so I'm not, uh, you know, it's, I guess for, for, in my position, I'm lucky that I can still use those features. Uh, and from what I've heard, if you're, like I was saying, you're, uh, uh, myself and others are grandfathered into those features. And from what I've heard, if you were to start new, a new YouTube channel today, you cannot make custom thumbnails or, um, you're restricted on minutes uploading and you can't live stream um, until you reach the threshold. I'm not 100%, but that's what I've read uh, online so that you can maybe find out more for yourself. But there's a pretty big outcry on uh, YouTube, and I think rightfully so. Um, I think if you were to, um, at least if I were uh, team YouTube, um, I would probably make that effective on a certain date for new users. Um, and at least someone would know what they're getting into. I think it's kind of a bummer to, you know, take monetization away from all the creators that have been doing it for quite some time. Um, like I said, I'm grateful, though, that I could still use features that, you know, that actually help a channel grow. Um, another thing that kind of uh, I know what they used that, that they used to, I'm not too sure if it's going to continue on, is that um, say if you're watching, say, say if you watch one of my videos now, like this one. Um, you're most likely to be shown on a recommendation at the end of this video, a different video that's actually monetized from another channel. If my video was monetized, it would be, be uh, recommended a video for my own channel because it is monetized. Um, I'm not too sure if that's how it still is um, or not, but those are also things that, you know, um, uh, that they haven't really addressed as well. Um, so I think, I think there's decisions to be made by a lot of creators, you know, you're pretty, you know, everyone that's under the threshold has a decision to make, whether it's to stay on YouTube or take their talents elsewhere, or they continue to YouTube, but they post the same exact thing on Facebook or Twitch or anything else and try to see where their traction really is at and what, what it's, what's worth doing. Cause obviously if you were making that 50 bucks or whatever a month uh, and you're not doing that now, it doesn't really matter where you're posting unless you really want to try to pass that threshold and hopefully that you will. Um, you know, for me, I'll still be posting on YouTube. Um, I've, I haven't quite decided if I'm also going to post a Facebook as well. Um, cause like I said, it doesn't matter right now. I mean, it's just right now it's about awareness, I guess, you know, it's, um, you know, cause I've been, you know, I've been working hard and you know, I've, I've been gaining subscribers very, uh, uh, slowly, <laughs> um, obviously. Um, but for me, I, I was never really concerned about subscribers. I never, you know, I, you know, would like to grow the channel. I wanted to, like, my goal is to get to a thousand because you actually do get, do, you do get more tools. So, um, you know, um, you know, there's always goals and I think that's kind of, you know, the important thing, but it's never, uh, m me, I cared about actual engagement, um, who was watching, how many minutes were watched, um, of the videos that I was posting and what people seem to, uh, like, um, even though I never really, uh, that's why I like, I mean, I post a, post a video about like a William Eggleston book and, you know, to be completely honest, um, William, William Eggleston is huge in the photography world, but if I asked, you know, a bunch of people in the street, no one would know the name, but obviously there's people out there that think, you know, think of the, the views and the subscriptions first, where it's like, okay, I can make a video about Taylor Swift and, uh, yeah, I might have better chances, um, of getting views and new subscribers. So, you know, there's obvious, obvious hacks. I think uh, for myself, I might try to think of something that's not really uh, um, something that's like completely, you know, out of line in my own uh, sense of what I feel I should be posting. I think I'd have to, I have to think a little bit more like that of what will get me to that threshold. And, um, and, but, you know, luckily, you know, like I said, you know, being able to still live stream 
make covers, you know, for the, the, the videos. And, you know, it's a big deal for me. I think that kind of helps, uh, you know, not the pain because I'm just, it's not, it's not like, uh, there's people who lost a lot of money with the adpocalypse and all that type of stuff. Um, but you know, I think, I think with YouTube now you have to treat it like TV, you know, I think you, what's, what's able to be shown on TV is basically kind of what's being able to be shown on YouTube now. And, and I get that. I mean, the adpocalypse kind of makes, made sense to me. Um, I mean, I think, it, you know, a lot of people have made it for many years saying what exactly what they wanted, no matter what, and no matter what the content looked like or what they were showing, they were, they were able to do whatever they wanted, which that was nice. But obviously that was not going to last forever. There's going to be censorship at some point. And, um, and from here on out, we'll see a lot of different things happen. I think this is a, um, an interesting move by Google. I think it's uh, they could have quietly made new guidelines for new users, and we would have slowly heard things here and there, but I think it wouldn't have been an outcry because it would have been a new channel starting. So I think to do that to your your own YouTube community, um, for you know, I've been around since 2005, um, I've seen few posts just on my own personal Facebook, people being around since 2011 and different years. So it's like people have been using YouTube frequently for many years. Um, so, I mean, 13 years to be on a platform, you know, consistently is, I mean, it's, it's really kind of unheard of because, you know, these platforms are only so old. Um, so it's kind of, you know, it's more of just like a bummer. I think it's more of like, um, you know, it's it's hard to it's hard without getting um, you know because they they promote and that's the unfortunate thing. A lot of the bigger channels even say like when you go to the trending tab on YouTube, you see like Jimmy Fallon. Does Jimmy Fallon need YouTube's help promoting with on the trending trending list? And it's not trending. It has like like if you go if you like you'll look at their trending list. It's like three hundred thousand views over a day or something like that. Like it's. Like a trending, an actual trending video is already at millions. Um, so it's kind of, you know, and I I always felt that they should have a trending tab for for creators. Say, like I was, I'm just gonna use myself, but any creator that has a smaller following, say if you make a video that all of a sudden your views are normally like 50, and then you make a video you're for you know it's kind of getting some type of traction. You're at 15,000. That should have its own trending tab. Uh, maybe like new and hot or new and trending new with trending something like you know something that's different than like jimmy fallon like i mean that guy is getting paid already <laughs> so um i mean it's kind of weird to have something like that on there to me it might be a little bit of advertising on the side to get on there but you know i'm not too sure how that how it works with google and that type of thing um but it's weird that he's always on the trending tab because it's it's theoretically not trending um if you kind of look at the grand scheme of things with other channels so, you know, with that being said, you know, for, you know, if I'm a new YouTuber, you know, without those features and they could change their mind on that, I mean, maybe they're going to allow, um, allow them to have those features right off the bat, um, and try to try to ease the pain of it, maybe, um, for new, cause like to now to be a, a new user, you have a huge goal ahead of you already. Like you need a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of views before you can get those features and that is really hard to do um so um i think it's those hacks that i was talking about that will help um but i also think it's it might be posting on other platforms and maybe just having a link on the side if you'd also like to watch on youtube watch here um and then so because like i said at this at, at the beginning it's a it's a long road um especially if you're posting original content there's definitely going to be the unicorns that get get the traction right away i mean there's obviously uh, that's every platform um but um at the same time you know it's it when it comes down to it, it's about making videos you know if you're into making videos i think you shouldn't shouldn't uh just not do it youtube is the best platform for videos you know it just is and um i don't i don't think you should make this the decision to not be on youtube like I said, it just gives you the option of not caring on being another one as well. Because, um, like I said, it, it doesn't really, it's not going to affect your bottom line because you don't have a bottom line on YouTube unless you're past the threshold. So, um, kind of a bummer of a video to make. Um, it's kind of just like, it's, it's just a little upsetting for, um, 
you know, to have a partner program, to get into the partner program, and then being taken away from the program. It's, it's kind of like, uh, um, it's, it's a strange, it's a strange feeling. Um, like I said, I'm glad to have the features, you know, you know, I think that's kind of like a nod to people who have been, been around. So, um, you know, if that's the case, then, you know, at least thank you YouTube for that. Um, cause those features do mean a lot. And that's why I, that's mostly why I was upset last year. Like I said, I, the money is not a thing for me at least. Um, so, you know, I'm happy to have those features so I can still do some live streams and, and all that. And, um, so I'll still be here. I'll still be posting, you know, and it's just, that's my goal now, you know, whether it's trying to figure out someone, something to work with some giveaways or that, you know, and, and, you know, it's, uh, it's a new goal to work towards and, um, that's, that's the plan. And, you know, uh, you know, for me, it's business as usual. Um, but like I said, if you're a new YouTuber, um, I, I wouldn't, um, stress on it. I would just, I would just start, I would just do it. Um, even if you can't make your own thumbnails, I know that, I know that's a huge bummer because you know, they get, they, they automatically pick your thumbnail if you didn't know, um, if you don't have that feature, um, and so it could be some random part in your video that could just be like the wall <laughs> and you're, you're, you're just, oh, great. This is, this is going to get clicked for sure. Um, so yeah. Um, anyways, I just want to thank everyone who watches my videos and all the subscribers. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Cause I need to get to that threshold. And, uh, you know, thank you everyone. Cause this past six months, it's been a huge increase to my channel and, that's why I'm going to be here. I love making videos. Um, and again, um, I made a video recently about making your own website and get, having a platform for your own stuff. This is a huge example of that. I mean, the rug can be pulled from you whenever. They can make a decision in, in two years and say that you need 10,000 subscribers. And that's just the way it is. Facebook can say you have to pay to be a page to post. That's just the way it is. Instagram can do something else. You know, they can, they can make anything up that they want. It's their platform. So, again, this is why it's very important to have your own website. This is a good wake-up call, even though I talked about myself in the recent video, which is only like three videos ago. It's not that long. You'll be able to find it. Um, so, it was just the other day that I was talking about this. So, this is a good reminder to myself to make bsmitty.com more of an important role in my daily life of getting my content on there um, because I'm not going to pull the rug for myself. The only thing that can happen to me with a website is the website company charge more money for what I'm doing on there, um, and that's going to happen. You know, you know, monthly fees will jump over, over the course of our life. So, um, again... Start your website, get videos on there. You can embed from anything. You can embed from Facebook. I was doing that last year when YouTube pulled the program for me then. So you can do YouTube, Facebook. Uh, I'm sure Twitch has embedding on there as well. Um, I have a Twitch uh, account, but um, I haven't done anything on there. I think I might have tested something, but I don't even think I have a video on there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go the Twitch route. I think we just stick to YouTube, stick to what I'm doing. Um, I may post it to Facebook as well. I'm still going over the, that decision. Um, and again, just, just do, just do you, um, you know, if you're kind of bummed out in this whole situation, or if you just started a channel and you weren't part of the program yet so, and you don't get those features, um, you know, out, just, just work, just do it, you know, just make, just make your content and just enjoy the process. The creative process is the, the most fun part anyways. And, you know, hopefully, you know, YouTube will allow features to new users and hopefully none of this even matters and you can just work on your goal if making mo money on youtube is your goal and if it's not then you have the tools that i have right now anyways um then great um if not uh like i said just just work at it and uh don't get too wrapped around about it you know just make the videos that you want to make and uh go from there again thank you very much for watching hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet and i'll talk to you guys soon